Okay, this is the May 2011 or 2 question 4. The diagram shows the curve. Oh, it's written in terms of uh, y, y equals a function of x, but we've got an area against the y-axis. Hmm. Uh, the diagram shows the curve y equals minus 1 plus the square root of x plus 4 and the line y equals 3. Show that this equation can be rearranged as this. So in other words, this is just a little bit of algebra. Take this equation, rewrite it so it says x equals. Well, that's, that's not bad. Y minus 1 y plus minus 1 plus the square root of x plus 4. So if we rearrange that, that's y plus 1 is the square root of x plus 4. We could square both sides now, and that would get rid of the square root sign. y plus 1 squared is x plus 4. So, so actually, x is y plus 1 squared minus 4. Well, that's not quite what we were after, so let's see if we can multiply that out. x equals y squared plus 2y plus 1 minus 4. And now I think we've got it. There we go. That's quite a nice two marks, isn't it? It doesn't really feel like it's called two maths. Um, hence, find by integration the exact area of the shaded region enclosed between the curve, the y-axis, and the line y equals 3. Well, this is, this is that second bit, isn't it? This is just saying the area between 1 and 3 under the curve is just the integral. That, that is just the integral of x dy, because it's the other way around, it's against the y-axis, between 1 and 3. And we've got what x is now. So all it wants us to do for part b, part 2, is that uh, the area is the integral between 1 and 3 of y squared plus 2y minus 3 dy. It's, it's not difficult. This is the slight twist if we work in terms of y instead of x. Now, remember, when you've got limits on your integral, we're not going to put plus c in there. We're going to keep it inside some brackets and deal with the numbers in a moment. y squared is going to go to y cubed over 3. 2y, that's 2y squared over 2. So the 2's will cancel out, that's y squared. Minus 3y between 1 and 3. We're actually getting quite a bit of credit still for just the the act of integrating this. Now we start subbing the values in. We put the 3 in first, the one on the top in first. That would be 27 over 3 plus 9 minus 9. Subbing 3 into there, 3 cubed over 3 is 27 over 3. 3 squared would be 9. 3 threes is also 9. Take away what you get if you put 1 in there. That's a third plus 1 minus 3, and uh, what have we got? We've got 27, we've got a 0 in there as well, um, minus a third, so that's 26 over 3, I don't know why I just didn't turn it into a 9, sorry, um, and then we, we, in fact, let's do that again, <laughs> what have we got? We've got 9 out of that bracket. That's better. Um, here we've got uh, 1 minus 2, so that's minus 2, and a, a third in there, so that is minus 5 thirds. And so we've got 9 plus 5 thirds, uh, which is 32 over 3. Or ten and two thirds um, square units. Yeah, that's right, that exactly. I, I think we should acknowledge that it's an area rather than just a length that we've. And there we go.